Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Parisno 0.74. Now, when we left off, we had two companions jittering around right next to me. No, no. Well, what we did have was a rather dire situation. The situation where we had to run away in retreat and go and rejuvenate ourselves and then come back ever stronger of course now as you can see the reason i've started the recording here is because we have a very special guest on today's show and that is that alan dell is going to be joining us hello oh yes i said that a little bit creepier than i intended but still of course what is it you want to discuss i shall tell you my story i used to be this land's foremost and best physician I have healed and tended to four Draharan emirs, three Hakanese lords, one Tauranian duke, and even the Reich prince himself. Those were my glory days. I made tons of Orem, and people from all nations begged me to heal them. I did so with pleasure, of course. I may be old now, but far from useless. I can treat your men when they are wounded, and treat you as well. Yes. There we go. Let's do it. Welcome to our company. 18,000. Ouch. Okay, that's a lot, but we do need a secondary medic because, of course, Kara is pretty bad. Well, she does get taken out rather a lot. Whoa, eight in surgery. Okay, thank you very much. So, as you can see, I rushed over here as quickly as I could as soon as I had rejuvenated myself. For some reason, our companions are taking a lot longer. So, let's take a look here. What are we going to do? Scout Striker Wilkins did actually level up, so what are we going to be specking in into? Well, I think probably agility is going to be good because we can get a little bit more movement speed and maybe we could get a little bit more in Weapon Master, even though that's kind of useless right now, isn't it? Hmm. Tactics, spotting, Iron Flesh. There we go, Iron Flesh, 70 HP. That is pretty nice. That's a good number, in my opinion. I don't think I'll be putting any more points in Iron Flesh next episode. Oh, I think I'm going to be putting in some points in Iron Flesh here. <laughs> yes, that's usually what happens, isn't it? Okay, so yes, I left all of my forces in the Uliastai garrison, with the exception of these foreign warlords that I found in a nearby tavern. So we're going to be just heading over to Kulvara, because... I would like to be able to, oh my goodness, yes, be very careful about these foreign invaders, but yes, I'd like to be able to just check the tavern, and we'll see if we can, uh, I don't really want any more companions. We have quite a few of them already. Parisno an adventurer, thank you very much, join us, and we'll recruit a couple more Parisno squires as well. I was lucky enough to gain some of those at Uliastai once I was there. We do need to rejuvenate our forces, of course, and then head back to Bolgan immediately. As quickly as we can. Let's be careful. No. Careful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so there is that. There is that to worry about. And that is, of course, when you guys gave me tips about which town I should take. You guys said, oh, let's take something next to all of the bandits. And, well, that actually is a very good idea. With the exception of if we get absolutely massacred ourselves and as a result we take a huge amount of damage so there is that there is that so let's see here what are we going to be taking well i was unable to make my way as you probably have already guessed to the realm of the falcon territories mainly because i found allendale and i thought it would be a good place to start otherwise i probably would have already gained some of those and come back and it would have been great but unfortunately we do not have the time, to be honest. I would like to be able to get over to Bolgan as quickly as we can, and we're going to be taking a lot of these Ilica Falki units and these Parisno Nun cavalry as well, and some shock cavalry. Gladi we only have three veteran gladiators. What's going on here? Wow. Okay, Parisno cavalry, wolf squires. We have a pretty significant amount of demon units, which I do like. Wolf knights, one gladiator. Is that all that survived? That is pretty sad, if I do say so myself. Okay, so we only have 96. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, only 96. Okay. Well, I guess we could take some Maccabean units. We're not at war with them yet. Hopefully it won't happen. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have 140. That's never going to do it. Goodness me. Let's just take as many as we can of these Hakon high-level units. And Prisoner Man-at-Arms... 
Goodness me, we really don't have very good units, do we? No, we lost most of our good units in that fight. So let's get some Valley here Thralls then, I suppose. We'll level those up. Get some more Parisno units as well. And I do believe this, these Sakaar Chieftains are actually really good. So we can hopefully make those work. Get some Bounty Hunters as well. This Auxiliary is probably going to be okay too. Okay, so let's exit there. And now we're going to go into the Tavern. I don't believe I've checked this Tavern, actually. Ah, here we go. I'd like to hire 16 mercenaries, thank you very much. Even though they are Draharan mercenaries, I feel as though it's probably going to be a better idea to do this than anything else, because, of course, we don't really have a very good team at the moment. 227. I think that should be enough to take on this guy, at least. Is he moving faster than us? No, we are moving faster than him. He has 23 units, and that is, of course, prisoners, so we can rescue those prisoners and make them our own, which will hopefully be very, very nice indeed. So, let us head in. Surrender or die. They don't have really any option to surrender at the moment, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Now, as you can probably see, we don't have a mount, and there's a very good reason for that. Our tur is lame, so I am attempting to get our wound treatment to do its magic, and hopefully that will rejoin the ranks very, very soon. We can, however, do a huge amount of damage to the units that are currently on the ground. Although... <laughs> oh. This is not too good because we, as you can probably see... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, riding skill too low? Oh, that's unfortunate. I was about to say, oh, but as you can see, we can get on a mount here and that would be amazing. But no, unfortunately not this time. Well, what can you do, I suppose? Not much to do apart from run around and try and take out a couple of guys. And if they start making trouble in our neighborhood, then you know what to do. So let's... Okay, never mind. We won already. That's pretty good. Oh, oh, we could take out this guy. Oh, never mind. Arakanus, thank you very much for stealing my kill. How dare you? Well, he does have a mount, so I suppose he does have the right of way there in that particular respect. I would say that cavalry do tend to get quite a few more kills than infantry, unless, of course, your forces entirely consist of infantry. But, nevertheless, there it is. And we're able to take 18 of them prisoner as well. Unfortunately, Baron Oscar was able to escape, but thankfully enough, we do now have the opportunity to take many of these guys and rescue them. And, of course, we can take a couple of captured enemies, too. Okay, there we go. That is actually very nice. I have not found a ransom broker, which is actually quite disappointing, because I did have 72 prisoners, if you recall, from the Siege of Bolgan, and it would have been lovely to be able to sell those to a nearby ransom broker, but unfortunately, they have not seen... Not really turned up anywhere, so that's that's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, we have not really seen any of them, so... Hmm, let's see here. Okay, so we're just going to head in the tavern once again, just to make sure that I'm not missing them. Entertainment Guildsmen. I always think that they have Ransom Brokers, goodness me. Okay, so we have 232. And we're going to be heading back to Bolgan immediately. Now, do bear in mind that the vassals around there are going to be rather difficult. Hello, Princess Burgett. Oh my goodness, why are you here? Why are you here with your 54 Draken Priesters? Ugh, that makes me sick. How oh, she has so many powerful units, goodness me. We need to get some of those. We need to get some powerful units. I think that would be quite nice. Goodness me. Okay, so, Bolgan, let's take a look. It's actually still not that bad. We still could probably do this. They have 26 Desert Assassins. And... Wow, 40, wow, 41 Sandstormers? It's probably because we all have blunt weaponry, isn't it? Voldeberg has been besieged, but thankfully enough, Marcus is there, so hopefully he will do his own business, and he'll be able to prove to us that he is the right man for the job. He is our marshal after all, I do believe, so if he cannot do it, then who can? He's visiting Voldeberg. I hope that he's actually defending it. Okay, so let's just wait until morning, if we can actually get to morning. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's early morning. Okay, that will have to do, I suppose. Queen Trisna of Makavia has just been taken prisoner by the Valahir clan. Wow. And she has Divine Aethlings, doesn't she? I think she does. Wow. Whoever took her prisoner must be very, very powerful. Okay, so we only have a minus two battle advantage in this particular siege. And we are going to tell everyone to charge in. We have five archers. Ugh. I was really hoping that we'd have a little bit more with the 
newly acquired Ilika Falki units that we gained from Baron Oscar's party. So hopefully that will be rather nice, I do believe. Come on, let's get in there. Come on. Let's do it. Okay, now don't shoot me, please. <laughs> that would be too much to ask, wouldn't it? Yes. But not to shoot me. Okay, come on. Yes. Okay, we've taken out one of their desert assassins. Two of their desert... Oh, three of their desert assassins, actually. That's pretty good. As long as we can continue taking those guys out, I think we should be completely fine. However, I am in a pretty precarious position right now. As you can probably see, if we get shot from the side in any respect, I feel like we're probably going to have major difficulties. As you can see also, we are actually losing many, many units. And way too many units for my liking. But it is a means to an end. And I do believe we must take Bolgan before the Hakon Empire decide. Oh, you know what? That seems like a rather weakly defended thief. Yes. So, <laughs> let's try and make that happen, shall we? Ah, okay. Now, I did say previously that I should have let my units go in first, so maybe I should have done that this time, but I felt, well, I really felt that we should really just help and try and do our very best here. Come on, guys. Who is this? Oh, Demon Lord, get in there. Come on, guy. You can do this. Oh, never mind. He just absolutely got massacred, and he actually got killed. Wow. Wow. Okay, Allendale's surgery skill really not doing the job right now, but I didn't move him to the top of the party. Come on, move by me, please. Oh, my goodness. This is kind of sad. Yep, that is kind of sad. That is very sad, how Allendale was not willing to move past me, and then he just runs up and gets taken out immediately. That is really quite sad, isn't it? Oh, wow. That is not good. Well... See, that's the thing. I did wait before to see what would actually happen. And as you can see, we're actually doing much better than we were previously. As you can see, we actually have taken out 31 units to our 14. And that is, of course, to death, because death is the only thing that matters, really. Because getting them knocked unconscious really has no effect. And that brings me to the next point. I should probably have an Assassin's Blade to inflict death and killing blows upon our enemies, because if we don't have that, then they're just going to be able to rejuvenate themselves, and they're able to very easily get back into the fight. So I'm a little bit worried about that, i got to say. Hmm. Maybe we all need to do something like that? Who knows, but... Oh no, Vizier Khalil, he is still alive. That's not good. Come on, guys, take him out. Maybe? Maybe they could take him out? That would be quite nice, i got to say. Uh, well, right now, it's not looking good, is it? Not really. Most of our demon priests are Praetorian guards, foreign warlords, or being knocked unconscious. Hmm. Well, I suppose what we could do is we could retreat, which is completely fine. Retreating is no problem at all here, because then we could just wait until tomorrow. And if any of them decide to attack us, then that will be okay. You know, that will be completely fine. Now, as you can see, we've actually not taken any of them out. Or at least, we've taken out a very small amount of them. But many of the vassals now only have 5% HP. And the only two that we have to worry about are Brulanoyan and Nasugai. So, hmm. That should be okay. So we should be able to just rest. We're going to wait here for some time. I think we're going to wait for about 24 hours because, of course, we do have... Hmm, this is actually quite tricky because if they take Volderberg from us, we're going to be really in a pretty bad spot. I'm just hopeful that Marcus is doing his job. Hmm. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about that, i got to say, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And Oh, here we go. Lord Marcus is engaging Baron Matthias's party. Excellent. I am very pleased to see that. Ah, oh, I really needed that Assassin's Blade. I probably should have bought that. That would have been a good idea. Or at least used it on myself instead of one of our companions. I'm actually not too sure who has that. Because I know Kara used to have it, but I don't think she has it any further. So as you can see, we're at 57%. Is that enough? 
to really go in with? Probably not. Well, we do have our newly acquired recruits leveled up a little bit. Okay, so let's wait until noon, and then we'll head in once again. I think. Okay, there's noon. Uh, that was a little bit too soon for my liking. Okay, so it will take about six, seven hours, maybe? To construct these ladders. And there we go. Okay, let's head in once again. Now this time, we have a oh, battle advantage of minus one. Okay, well... Let's hope, shall we? Let's hope that this is actually going to make a big difference. And we're going to see if we can just charge straight on in here. Oh, four archers yet again, okay. This really makes me think that I need to get more archers. So I'm probably going to try and cultivate a small force of Maccabean crossbowmen. Because even though the Maccabeans are, well, I wouldn't necessarily known for being very good ranged units. Even though I really do like the Maccabean crossbowmen and what they're able to accomplish... The Elvary Rangers obviously are the best archery units, but I suppose the Maccabeans are the best in terms of crossbows, I would assume at least, because we do know that the Draharans are great for horse archery, the Hakon are good for with mm, heavy infantry, maybe? Heavy infantry perhaps? And we also have, of course the Redwood Nation is very good with archers, as well as the Tauranians. I think the Tauranians are actually pretty good with archery as well, so there, there is that to consider, but... Hmm. Yeah, there's actually quite a lot of diversity in the factions, and that's partly why I love Perizno, because you just have so many different options to choose from, because even though the Valahir clan is pretty terrible with their ranged abilities, similar to how the Nords are in native, even though they are pretty terrible, they are not bad, you know? They are not completely useless and saying that actually the Nord archers are actually not that bad either but in comparison to the others of course they are a little bit more lackluster than you would otherwise want them to be but considering the Valahir clan and the Nords respectively both have very powerful infantry I think that they can take a couple of bruises when it comes to their infantry and so forth Okay, so we've taken out 37 units right now, and we've only lost 13. So this is going much better than it was previously. Probably because I'm not at the forefront of this battle. If I was, then I'd be knocking everyone unconscious, and it would be causing a great many difficulties for us. So I think it's probably a good idea that I just stay back here and supervise. Supervise our siege. <laughs> uh, yeah, supervise is another word for being incredibly lazy and watching other people do your work. Right? <laughs> well, not particularly. Some people actually do a lot of work when they are, of course, supervising others. Dependent on how competent they are, of course. And right now, our units are not necessarily too competent, although they are proving themselves to be a lot more useful in this particular siege than they were previously. So I'm very happy about that. And we are going to be... Oh, it appears we are going to be heading in here and hoping that Nasugai Noyan gets taken out. Really? Six units knocked unconscious in quick succession? Come on, guys. You cannot allow that to happen. And reinforcements have arrived. I do need to keep an eye on our reinforcements because, goodness knows, I didn't do that before and we ended up losing and having to retreat. So, uh, come on. we got to finish this. We have to finish this. Otherwise, things going to go bad. Oh, yes. I'm going to start making my way up the ladder now. Hopefully... Oh no, Allendale is right next to us again! Oh my goodness, I'm actually coming to dislike Allendale quite a bit. Mainly because he is standing right in front of us, and he was standing behind us before when we were in the siege scrum, I suppose you could say, and we were really not in a very good mood because he blocked us from retreating, and he didn't assist us by coming up alongside us and fighting side by side, shoulder to shoulder, against our opponents. So he has to do something incredible for him to earn his forgiveness, from me at least. I'm not entirely sure whether he's really bothered about it, but <laughs> let's hope that he's actually pretty proficient in 
melee combat, maybe with archery as well. And uh, I was hoping to take that guy out, hopefully to take him prisoner a little bit here. Ah, okay. Well, there we go. We took out all of those units, and I do believe this is actually going to be a victory this time. I hope it... Oh, my goodness. That was very close. Wow, how dare you? That's what you get. Wow, that was actually incredibly close. I lowered my shield for just a second because I thought there was no one around, and whoosh! Throwing weapon right by our heads right there. That would have been atrocious if we'd gotten taken out by that guy right at the end. Ah, when our units have... A very good opportunity to win. Maybe. <laughs> well, now I can start to knock a couple of people unconscious because, of course, they can be taken prisoner now, I do believe. And that's what makes me really sad because prior to, obviously, failing in the previous episode, we had taken so many prisoners we had just knocked almost, I would say, almost 60, maybe even 70% of the population of Balgan unconscious. And you can imagine how many units we would have had to take prisoner there. And we would have just been rolling in money. That would have been absolutely amazing. But, of course, right now, that's not going to be a reality this time. We're just going to have to... Oh, no. We're just going to have to stay alive. And hopefully deal a little bit of damage here and there, and we'll see if we can take quite a few of them prisoner, but not as many as, obviously, we would have wanted previously. There we are. This is turning out a lot better this time. We've only lost 31 units. Very nice indeed. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't get taken out now, Scout. That would be absolutely terrible. Come on. Take him out. Yes. Oh, no. I'm being attacked from somewhere. Oh, from the side. Okay, let's take out that Desert Bowman if I can, please. Oh, no. Ah. We got taken out by four damage. Really? We only had four HP remaining? Oh, my goodness. That is absolutely terrible. Let's hope that our... Oh, no. We need these guys charging in. Come on, archers. And we need more reinforcements, too. So, hopefully, they'll come in as well to help us out. There are only 68 units remaining. I'm hoping that that's actually only... 68 and not just 68 plus 127,000 in the barracks waiting to come out. But we'll see. I feel as though we've actually taken out all of their reinforcements, so we'll see if that is actually the case. Hopefully it is. But goodness me, I gotta say that it feels as though our surgeons, Kara and Allendel, are not doing a very good job. As you can see, many of our units are actually being killed. And they're not being knocked unconscious. So I think we probably need to have a good talk with them. And hopefully reassign them to having a medic tag. So I can just put those guys back at the very back of the map. And we'll see if that actually makes a difference. But right now, I feel as though if they've been knocked unconscious, then of course we would have many, many difficulties with the surgery not actually being active. So I'm a little bit worried about that if Allendale has actually gotten taken out. I believe he actually has. Oh, no, he hasn't. Is that him right there? If he is still alive and he's actually not helping our units as much as he could, then I'm going to be quite mad. Goodness me. And to think the episode started off so nicely with us finding Allendale and everything, and now Allendale's not helping us. Oh my goodness, it's a very even battle as well. As you can see, we have 58 versus 58. Well, 57 now and counting, but wow. That is actually pretty cool how we have... Oh my goodness, it's actually very even. Oh, and new enemies have just arrived, but only another five. I think we're good. Are we? Are we actually good? Wait a minute, these are all Landiers. Oh no. Oh. We're going to lose again. We need to make sure that we do not. So let us wait here for some time. And we need to be very careful. We need to be very careful about slavers and foreign invaders and any patrols that are coming around here. We need to be extremely careful. And then we're going to be heading in once again. Oh, wait a minute. We're not at war against the Hakon. That's good. Okay, so once we get many of our units restored back to... Oh, no. 
back to their full HP, as you can see. Oh no, we have these guys coming after us right here. So, yes, we are actually restored. We are being restored, so I feel like we can actually head in here. We're going to get some crossbowmen there. Prisoner cavalry, we're going to get some Drengars. Very nice to see those again. And we are going to be besieging the town. Well, that's actually not too bad. 118 versus 214. We don't have a horse, though. Hmm. Okay. Well, many of our units are actually okay. They're just injured. So, yeah. I was hoping that the siege would actually be a little quicker, but obviously we really don't have the greatest engineering skill right now, so I suppose I really should not have thought of that. But we do need to take Bolgan. Bolgan is ours and will be ours. We just need to make sure that we are in a pretty good position. There we are. Take out that Dezuxleva right there. And I do believe this is actually going to be very easy. Or at least I hope so. As soon as I say that, it's going to be a complete bloodbath on our side. But as you can see, Allendale's actually getting quite a few kills. So he is starting to redeem himself. In my eyes, at least. <laughs> okay, here we go. We have a charger. Very nice indeed. Now let's start to do a little bit of damage. Try and take some of these guys prisoner. Come on, take him out. There we go. Thank you. And we can hopefully take this guy. No, never mind. Hopefully take this guy. Oh, we did 26 damage to him, but not enough. Hopefully our forces will be able to take him out. He is actually killing many of our units. Well, technically not killing because he can only knock people unconscious by the looks of things. But still, the slaves are actually very good with their bows. So we do need to be a bit cautious about that. But yes, I think we're fine. I think we're going to be good here. Even though they do have 200 plus units, I feel like we're probably going to be fine. We have a good caliber of units. It's just that when we're outnumbered, we're going to have a little bit of worries about that. But otherwise, I think we're okay. And then we'll be able to head on to Bolgan and take that. I hope. Okay, come on. Ah, uh, he's blocking us. He's blocking us. Oh, wow. You took out one of your own mounts. And you crushed through my blocks. Goodness me. Really? Ah, oh, oh my goodness. Wow, it's not going well for me today, that's for sure. Not going well. Well, I suppose it's actually not bad, because even though I have gotten taken out, many of our units are going to be able to win this? Question mark? I, yeah, I think we're fine, because we have 50 units, and they have 26. Oh my. There's actually a lot of enforcers running around taking out many of our units. Ah, reinforcements have arrived. Great. And do bear in mind that many of our units have actually been knocked unconscious, and only been knocked unconscious, so they will be able to be rejuvenated, which is uh, very, very nice indeed. And none of them have been killed, so that's excellent. That's very, very good. And I would say that we don't have to worry. Nope, there's only seven units remaining, and I do believe we have quite a few cavalry to chase them down, hopefully enough. And there it is. Okay, so let's hopefully be able to take quite a few of them prisoner. And I don't believe they have any rescued prisoners, which is really quite a shame. I was hoping we could at least gain a couple of those just to reinforce our... Really? Just to reinforce our ranks? 25 of them left? Wow. Okay. Hmm. Well, we have quite a few cavalry. There's only 25 of them left. I hope they have a couple of slaves and that's it. I really don't like the enforcers and indeed the slavers themselves because of course they are mounted and they could probably very easily take us out so let's just charge in all of our cavalry i'm pretty sure they only have slaves remaining yeah ah they do have some dismounted dezuk enforcers so there is that but we do have drahara mercenary shadow guards so they'll be able to take those out no problem at all hopefully I do need to be careful about being taken out again, because if I am, then I'm going to have a much greater time of restoring ourselves to previous strength. Okay, come on, let's do this. Oh my goodness, okay. No, uh, just within range. Oh no, whoa, okay, we did 61 damage, but he survived. That is pretty impressive, i got to say. That is pretty impressive to survive that. I'm pretty sure he must have like 62 HP then, or something along those lines. Hmm. Okay, well, there it is. We were able to... <laughs> we were able to win in the face of adversity, I suppose you could say. Not really, but 
it was a rather scary event because they did have more units than we. So we're going to have to head in here now. How many do we have? 60! Not too good, is it? Let's see. Wow. Marcus? Really? Oh, he did actually fight them. Lord Marcus of the Reformian Rebellion was defeated in the battle. So he did actually fight them. So I got to say that he's actually quite a nice guy. And he was trying his very best. So I will not blame him for that. That is just how it goes. Sometimes. Okay. Are we ready to go in? Yes. Nope. We're not ready. But we're going to go in nevertheless. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we have 15 archers. Maybe we should just let our archers... Pelt them a little bit? Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's hold position here. Kara got taken out immediately from a spearman with one of their throwing weapons. That is utterly atrocious, but never mind. She can't be held responsible for being terrible with her shield. Oh, it was a headshot? No? I don't even know whether that was her or not. Hmm. Well, right now, it appears as though our ranged units are better than their ranged units, so I suppose we really should just stay here and see what we can do. We actually have ranged units now, which is excellent, because before, of course, we didn't have any. Well, we had four, but they really weren't doing anything too much. Wow, they actually have 75? Okay. Hmm. Okay. I think it's okay. I think it's good. I'm still worried, though. Do we need to be, though? Because right now we are actually getting a huge amount of kills, and we're not taking too many casualties, so I think we're actually in a very good spot. Okay, this is ours, and then we just need to make sure that we take back Volderberg. Um, that is going to be a little tricky. If they put a lot of Princess Burgett's units there, then we're going to be in a great deal of difficulty, but I don't think that they will, because we did see Princess Burgett quite close to us, quite close to Malia Castle, so I think she's probably not going to be too close to them. Hmm, okay. When can we go in? I am actually unsure. We could probably go in, maybe in another four kills... Perhaps, do bear in mind that we have a lot of Drengars, and Drengars are not the greatest... No, no, no. Are not the greatest unit. How dare you? How dare you shoot me in the shoulder? Oh, wow, that's actually in the chest. Goodness me. Yeah, Drengars are not the best. So, if we go in, then we're going to need to commit to a full assault. Okay, let's do it. We're going to make sure that our archers stay behind, are we? No, they actually have no ar Well, Well, do they have any arrows remaining? I think some of them have some arrows. I think the crossbowmen have arrows, but the regular archers do not. So I suppose I'll just let them charge up there and we'll see what we can do. Bolgan does need to fall before us. It is their last remaining town. That is the reason why they're putting up such a huge fight to defend it. And I'm very hopeful that we'll be able to do that. Come on, guys. We still have our archers shooting, some of them. Some of the crossbowmen are still shooting. Drahara mercenary shadow guards getting killed by Drahara light rider. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. We have a sliver of HP, so I really am trying to be quite careful here. Only 40. Really? We've actually lost already 20 units just in that short space of time. Are we going to have to retreat again? I hope not. I really hope not. Okay, let me up there. Let's get this done. Oh, I cannot believe they're allowing all the vassals to get kills. That is pretty bad. Hmm. Or is it? Actually, we're... Oh, no. Oh, no, no. They're starting to kill us again. Right, so it's an even game right now. 31 to 29. 
It really depends if they allow the vassals to stay alive. If they allow the vassals to stay alive, then we'll never get to the other units, and we're going to be in the worst possible position. So, if our companions could stop dying needlessly, then that would be great. Wouldn't it? Ah, uh, look, if our rangers have gotten inside, excellent. Hopefully they'll show the rest of our forces how to actually play. That would be good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, 20 versus 18. 19 versus 16. Okay, their numbers are dwindling. Their numbers are dwindling. Yes, that's a reference to Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> oh my goodness. Star Wars Battlefront 2, that is. I don't think I played the original. Hmm. Okay, well, come on. 14 versus 9. Yes. Yes, I think this is a victory. Just about. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Careful. Okay, come on. Kill the assassin. There we go. Take him out. Okay. Careful. Okay, there's a sandstormer there, and there's quite a few units here. Okay, don't face your back to the archer, please. Oh no. Okay. There we are. Take out the Desert Bowman and take him out. And that is victory. Oh my goodness. 12 units remain and... Wow. I cannot believe that we actually did that. So. Oh. Phew. That was... Yeah, that's pretty close. So, yeah. We're going to be letting all these guys go. They're not very happy with us. And there we go. Very nice, and that's how many prisoners we get, really. Wow, okay, that's not too much. But we do get a huge amount of rescued prisoners, which is exactly the reason why we have any chance of being able to even defend this as a result. So, as you can see, our army is just going to skyrocket in terms of numbers. And I wouldn't be surprised if we have maybe 320? 320 units, maybe something like that. Maybe even more than that. Seems like it's probably going to be more. Oh, yeah, much more. Well, not too much. 100 and... Well, yeah, 327. There we go. Very nice indeed. And we can take that, which is absolutely terrible. We're not going to be taking that. So, let's see here. This is a town, and I've just lost a town. So I'm actually going to be giving that to myself. And it is quite far away. So, hopefully, we'll be further enough away from the Reich to dissuade them from trying to take it from us. Okay, so we have a Traveler. Hmm. Not too useful for us. Not too useful right now. Okay, so let's... Hmm. Okay, there's not too much to do here, i got to say. We can rest, and we can place a lot of the units in the garrison. So, I'll tell you what, I'm going to be... Placing these right here. And then we'll be ending this episode of here. So I thank you very much for watching. And, oh wow, 19 units just leveled up right there. Very, very nice indeed. And I will see you <laughs> next time once we have rejuvenated ourselves. And, well, hopefully made a pretty good defense here. It's going to be a little bit tricky, i got to say, because as you can see... Vorderberg has an excellent launching pad to Sun Getcha Castle, to Yuruma Castle. They're probably going to try to take those back, but while they're taking that back, we'll probably try and take Vorderberg back. So hopefully that will be the way it will go, and hopefully the Draharans will decide that they want peace with us as well. So, once again, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.